the Dream 9 study is um, a, a, a logical um, uh, continuation of the clinical development uh, plans for Belentamab mephodotin, uh, which is a GSK um, um, uh, led uh, compound. It, it's a BCMA directed antibody drug conjugate, uh, which has already shown uh, good single agent activity in relapse refractory myeloma patients. Um, so, the DREAM 2 trial, uh, which was the pivotal uh, randomized phase 2 study exploring. Um, the the dosing appropriate dosing for uh, belentamab mephodotin or as we call belamaf um, you know it was presented by uh, uh, sagalonia last year and we we are awaiting news from the regulatory authorities here in the united states um, and and so the the drug has now moved into earlier uh, uh, lines in terms of investigation um, there are early relapse phase one twos um, and newly diagnosed phase one twos that are running, and and so Dream Nine is is kind of a, a continuum of that. Um, in the Dream Nine trial, um, RVD, which is a backbone PI um, uh, steroid frontline regimen, uh, is being explored with Belamaf uh, for patients who are transplant ineligible. And this study is a phase one, three trial. So there's a phase one portion to it where the Bellamaf dose uh, in the frontline setting that's being explored is 1.9 milligram per kilogram. Um, and, and once the phase one portion of the study um, is done, the phase three portion will begin, uh, which will be randomizing uh, transplant ineligible or patients who are choosing uh, or deferring stem cell transplants for their first relapse um, in the frontline setting. Uh, patients will be randomized to RVD for, for induction or R RVD with Bellamaf uh, for induction, uh, followed by um, a maintenance schema until relapse, uh, progression, or intolerance. And the primary endpoint for the study um, is uh, PFS along with uh, a co-primary of MRD um, as as an endpoint, which is uh, you know, which is an, a very important um, and unique feature uh, of this particular randomized phase three study.